if MD and DO degrees are so different, or so similar, excuse me, why are they, why are they different? Right. What are the differences? And right. why would a student maybe apply to DO schools rather than MD schools or in addition to? Right. So what were, what, what the difference is really at the end of the day is about 200 hours of incorporated um, osteopathic manual medicine. Uh, it's incorporated over the first two years of a DO school curriculum. And with that training, DO students become experts in the anatomy and the physiology of the whole body, uh, the muscular skeletal system. They truly become experts so that they're able to then use their hands in treating and diagnosing their, their future patients. And so really, that additional ability is what distinguishes an osteopathic trained physician from an allopathic or an MD trained um, physician. Being able to recognize the body as a whole unit, recognizing when one area is affected, other parts of the body can be equally affected, and then being able to use your hands in manipulating the muscular skeletal um, structure of the anatomy. And so with the change changing population of pre-med students in the country, and I think the generational um, shift, being hands-on, being part of a team, being mm -hmm. high touch, wanting to really engage with the patient um, and not just give them you know, expensive exams or tests, that's what's resonating. And that additional training of about 200 hours over the first two years, that's really the beauty of what osteopathic medicine has to offer pre-med students in this country as they move forward um, in, their, in their medical uh, pathways. Mm -hmm.